Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use Microsoft Word. If you never opened Word before, or you've been craving to level up your skills in Microsoft Word, this tutorial is definitely for you. At the end of this video, my goal is you'll be able to navigate the Word interface, create, save, and open a Word document. You also learn to format document by changing fonts and font sizes. Use the format printer, clear all formattings, change the font colors, and so on. With no further ado, let's dive right in. If you already have Microsoft Word installed on your PC, go to the Start menu and search for MS Word. If you don't have MS Word installed on your PC, Press Ctrl plus Shift plus Windows plus R to get access to Word for free on the web. You'll be prompted to create an account if you don't have one. If you already have an account, simply sign in and start using Microsoft Word for free on the web. Now that we are on the same page, let's go ahead and open Microsoft Word. When you first open Microsoft Word, the Start page displays. On the Start page, you have the Home button. Under the Home button, you see the recent area that shows recent document you've been working on. You also have the Pinned section that shows documents that you want to frequently access. You can easily pin them so you circle back to them at any time. To pin a file you click the pin icon and that will be pinned in a pin session shared with me these are files or documents that someone shared with you through teams or other applications the new this is where you create a new blank document The open tab allows you to open an existing document that you have already on your PC, or maybe it could be on a pin drive or whatever. The last thing I want to talk about here is templates. These are pre-structured documents that you can weave into your project. There are a lot of them. Feel free to use them. You can search for them. And these are tons of templates that that are available to you. To create a new document, click the new button. Select blank document. A new blank document opens in Word, where you can begin tapping immediately. Let's go ahead and tap in some random text. Now our document says, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss upcoming tutorials. Now it's time to save our document. When you create a blank document, Word automatically assigns a generic file name to this document, such as document one, as you can see above here. To save a new document, click the file tab to open the backstage view. And now we have a lot of options available to us here. We can save the document, we can print, we can share, we can export. But our goal is to save our document. So we will go ahead and click Save As. Click the Browse button to open the Save As dialog box. Alternatively, you can save your document to OneDrive. In that case, you can access it from anywhere. So we will click the broad button. Now choose the location to save the document. We'll save this to the documents folder. And we're just going to name this Word Tutorial. Now we have our document saved to our PC. Congratulations. Our next task is how to open a document. 
You can open an existing document from your computer, OneDrive, auto storage location, or an attachment from email. To open a document, click the file tab to open the backstage view. Click the open button to display the open area on the backstage view. Open. Select the location where the document is stored. We'll click the browse because we have this document stored on the desktop. Click desktop. This is the document we want to open. Click the document and click open. Now we have successfully opened a document into Microsoft Word. And in fact, this is a Word document. And you are not only limited to opening a Word document, you can also open a PDF file into Word and edit it. If the document opens in protected view, click Enable Editing button. Enable Editing. Let's take a look at a ribbon, which is located at the top of the screen. On a, on a ribbon, we have the file tab. The file tab is a section where you carry out tags such as creating new document, opening a existing document, save a document, print, share, export, and do other cool stuff. The home tab is the default tab of Microsoft Word. The home tab is divided into sections. You have the clipboard, you have the font, paragraph, styles, editing. You also have the voice tapping feature, editor, add-ins. The insert tab. The insert contains various items that you may want to insert into your Microsoft Word. The draw tab is used to do freehand drawing in Microsoft Word. It provides different types of pens cut off for drawing. The design tab contains document designs that you can select, such as a document with center titles, offset headings, page borders, page cutter, watermarks, and so forth. In our tab, Host all the options that allows you to arrange your Microsoft Word document pages just the way you want it to be. The reference tab enables you to add table of contents, footnotes, and other tweaks to your document. During tab, this tab is where you create labels, print them on envelopes, do mail merge, and other cool stuff as well. The review tab contains comments, language, Word account, spreading check, the editor feature as well. And you have a lot of cool stuff here. You feel free to mess with them. The view tab. The view tab gives you the ability to view your document in a variety of formats. And finally, on the ribbon, we have the help. On the help tab, you have training session, this allows you to do a uh, self-training on how to use Microsoft Word. If you want to contact Microsoft support, you also have the contact support here. And that's that for the ribbon. Word has many features to customize the appearance of text within a document. You can change the font, change the font size, and add font styles such as bold, italic, and underline. The default font and font size in Microsoft Word are Calibri and 11 point. To change the font and font size, select the text you want to format. You want to format this whole paragraph. Click the font drop-down list to display the list of available fonts. These are fonts you have available to you. Feel free to check them out. Select the font to apply to the selected text. So we will go with this times new Roman. To change the font size, click the font size drop down list to display the list of available font sizes. Select the font size to apply to the selected text. 
we'll go with 16. We can also increase or decrease the font size by using the font increase button and the font decrease button. Let's say we want to decrease the fonts and we can increase it with the increase button. To apply a font style, select the desired text and select bold, italic, or on the line button in a font group on the home tab. We want to bold this text and italic size it. Also on the line. Also click the font style button to turn on a style tab, the text, and click the font style button again to turn off the style. So as you click this, you turn it off, this, and it back on. Yep. By default, the font color in a Word document is black. To change font color, select the text you want to be a different color. the font launcher in a home tab click the font color drop down arrow to display the list of font colors the drop down list of font colors options include themes standard colors more colors choose the color you want and click ok You can also change the font color by clicking the font color button in the home tab. Moving text removes it from one location or cut and places it in another location or paste. Two methods used to move text are drag and drop or cut and paste. To move text using drag and drop, select the text you want to move. Click and hold the selected text with your pointer. Drag the text to the desired new location and release the pointer. Moving text using cut and paste. Select the text you want to move. Click the cut button on the home tab in the clipboard group. You can also press Ctrl plus X or right click the selected text and choose cut from the context menu. Place your insertion point in a desired location. You want to paste the text. Click the paste button from the home tab or press Ctrl V. The format printer copies text formatting from selected text and applies the same formatting to other text in the same document or a different document. To use the format printer, select the formatted text you want to copy. You want to copy this. The format from the text. Click the format printer button in the home tab. Here's a format printer. To apply the formatting, select the text you want to format and Word applies the formatting to the selected text. There we go. To apply formatting to multiple non adjacent selections, double click the format. Enter button and select the text to format. The clear all formatting feature removes all formatting 
for the selected text and returns it to plain text. For example, if you applied multiple formatting styles and effects to text, use the clear formatting feature rather than individually deselecting all the formatting options previously selected. Be careful when using clear formatting feature. It not only clears all text formatting, but also clears line and paragraph spacing, numbering, bullets, and style formatting. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more tutorials like this. See you in the next video.